Hi again, sixth grade. It's Ms. Sambor here. I am um, recording a video for you about your game board to track your work on Google Classroom. This is an extra step that you can take to help check off the boxes and say, okay, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. Um, but there's a little extra fun uh, piece to it where you can move a little game piece around the board um, as you finish things. So just a little bit of uh, interest for you as you're finishing your work. There are eight game pieces to choose from, but before I get into that, I'm going to show you how to get to it on Google Classroom, okay? So I'm going to present my screen to you so that you can see what I'm talking about. My whole screen, as I would if we were in the classroom. And if I go into People of Sparks Remote Learning, I do have that one video up here now that you can see. I have a YouTube channel. Um, I go to People of Sparks Remote Learning and I'm going one, two, three, four down to this assignment here. You might notice that these icons on the side, um, these ones that look like they have bookmarks are just materials, okay? And these that look like kind of clipboards and notebook paper, those are your assignments. And the questions, of course, are questions I'm asking you, okay? This assignment is your game board. So I click on it and I see the instructions. There are eight game pieces to choose from as you move yourself across your game board. Points are counted by you at the end. Please see instruction video, what you're watching right now, um, for how to use this game board. So I click on here and it opens up a Google document, okay? I do need to toggle the Zoom on my game board. It's a little bit of a large board, so I'm going to toggle the Zoom here to 75 so I can see the whole thing. There we go. I didn't move this game piece yet, um, so I am going to move it back down here so I can show you how to move them around. I'm going to center it. So this is my whole game board. I have start to finish, this bottom piece I'm going to highlight, the bottom half, this is your assignment calendar, but in the form of a game board. It wraps around like a game board would, it goes from start, do 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 and it goes up, and it goes to the left, all the way until April 3rd. So this is where you can find, okay, these are my assignments that are due. You might ask me, Ms. Sambor, didn't you already post the assignment due dates on Google Classroom? Yes, I did but those are just the reading um, due dates and the reading review due dates. There are other additional assignments that I wanted to share with you. So that your QR, QARs are on here, um, your chapter reviews are on here, and your big thing at the end, which is the SWIBS, your big, uh, bigger project at the end of this book is on here. And we might be able to extend that project into school time when we're eventually back, okay? Um, but I do have, your game pieces at the bottom here, there are eight of them. Um, I'm going to choose this little robot guy. How will I move him, you might ask. I'm going to select him until I see all those boxes around him, the blue ones. Then I'm going to click and hold and drag. Do you see, maybe you don't, maybe the screen's too small, but I want you to try to see the blue cursor as I drag him around, okay? I'm going to release him right at the end of watch Miss Sambor's Google Classroom tutorial video. I'm going to release him. There he is on that square. When I answer QAR number one on Google Classroom, I'm going to move him again, click, hold, and drag to the next box there. Okay, so as I'm moving along in my progress, I can drag my robot guy all the way around the board until I am done. It's just a different way to track your progress yourself and what you're doing. Um, after you have finished tracking your progress, you can count up your points, which is the top half of this board here. The epic quizzes, I do want to say, are not up yet. Um, today's Tuesday. They will be up tomorrow on Wednesday. Um, but the epic quizzes are something that I have to give your parents access to by typing in their email manually. Um, but epic is providing free home use for your families for three months. So we're going to utilize that while we are in remote learning. Okay, so um, the points on the top half of this board are effort points. So they are not your grade. 
Okay, I'm not grading you on your progress map on your game board here, but these are points that you can accumulate for some extra credit just so that you've been tracking your work. Okay, but they're not a grade like I'm grading your reading re reviews. Um, there are 415 total points that you can accumulate like I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, um, and you can keep adding your own points. I have the scoreboard over here. Okay that you can keep track of. There are seven reading sections. There are seven reading reviews. There are four QARs. There's one Google Classroom tutorial section, which you get six points for. Um, and there are some Epic quizzes. The Epic quizzes are worth quite a lot because they require you to read some books on Epic and then take a quiz, okay? And your SWIBS table that we will be talking about in another video um, is worth 40 points. So you could return to school with 415 points out of 415. And I know how competitive you all are with each other um, because I see it daily in the classroom. <laughs> Sixth graders are notoriously competitive with one another. And I don't think I've yet met a class that's more competitive than this one this year. So if you want to compete with each other for points, um, we can talk a few uh, school appropriate prizes like books or something when we get back. Um, for who was able to really count up all their points and make sure they get everything done and turned in. This is a checkbox situation, but it looks like a game board. It's like, check, I've done that. Check, I've done that. That's what the purpose of this is. There are eight game pieces to choose from. You don't have to choose your robot guy, um, but I chose him. He was the first one. There's also a key. There is a little trophy. There's a sword. There's a ukulele or a guitar. You decide. There's a star and there are playing cards and headphones, but they look like video gaming headphones. Um, so you can choose which one you're moving across the board. Okay, so that's how that works and it's digital. Um, you could also print this out and move your guy across the board as well by hand on paper, that's also fine. Um, but I wanted you to know how it worked and what I expect. One last thing I want you to note is that on some of these boxes, it says complete the review by 6 p.m. That just means that I will not look at your assignment after 6 p.m. each day. Um, you might have to wait another day um, for me to look at it in the morning of the next day, okay? So if you submit something at 9 p.m., I will not grade it um, until the next day. But I do say like the cutoff for me is 6 p.m. just so that I know, you know, I've collected this many assignments today because I do, we're on digital platforms, I'm on Google Classroom and I do need a time, like this is the cutoff time of each day. And if you need that extended for you, just give me feedback and let me know. Um, some of you might not be able to get to your work until the evening. So I could ex extend that cutoff time to like 8 p.m. for some of you if you'd like, okay? But I would extend it for all of you and not just some. Um, but your feedback, as always is really, really appreciated as we move through this process. It's really different learning online, um, but it's very doable, okay? And we'll be able to talk back and forth. We will have constant communication because we are not in the classroom. Um, and I wanted to give you a way to track your work as you go along. So that's the end of this fourth video. I will upload these to my YouTube channel. I know some of you will be at home going, hashtag subscribe. And then some of you will be going, Miss Sambor, nobody says hashtag anymore. Stop, you're not cool. And um, whatever you would like to do, if you'd like to subscribe, you can. You don't have to because I'm going to be posting the videos to our Google Classroom page anyway, okay? So I chose YouTube because it's a really easy platform for you to watch on phones, on tablets, on uh, Chromebooks, computers. It's just something that I know that a lot of you can already access, okay? So that's the end of the video and I will be there for the next one. Um, and I'm going to stop presenting now. I hope that some of you do get outside in the snow. I've said that once already, um, but it is beautiful outside and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye sixth grade.